Hey, all right, welcome. Mike Simmons here. Hey, just wanted to make a fairly quick video telling you about a couple different things about HostGator, which is the web host that I use myself and recommend, of course. But all month long, HostGator is having a 60% off sale off of the, all of their hosting plans. If you want to check that out, you need a link to check it out. And there is a link, which is my affiliate link, of course below the video in the video description so you can check that out using that link and also I wanted to show you a behind the scenes look at the HostGator's new cloud hosting plans their cPanel based cloud hosting and their managed WordPress cloud hosting we're going to take a behind the scenes look and also look at a website that is actually using their managed WordPress cloud hosting so let's get started all right, before we get started taking a look at HostGator's cloud hosting plans that they're offering now, this is the page that you will go to if you click on that link about the 60% off hosting sale that uh, HostGator is offering during February. I think it's going to last all February long, but you never know. So if you do need hosting, go ahead and check this out. All right, now let's go take a look at the cloud hosting and managed cloud hosting that HostGator has recently started offering. We're at HostGator.com, of course. HostGator is the web host which I have been using for the last eight years with very good results, and I highly recommend them. You know, in fact, I use their support all the time. I do build websites for people. You might have heard some negative things, you know, about HostGator online, but in my experience, none of it's true because, I mean, obviously any host, especially a big one like HostGator, is going to have problems once in a while, but uh, I have only had one problem in eight years, and I think that's a pretty darn good track record. And I've used their support several times. In fact, this year I've used them three times. And I've waited about 15 minutes one time when I called during a busy time of the day. But other than that, the guys were super knowledgeable and super helpful. So highly recommend these guys. This is their normal HostGator shared hosting, which you see right here. You'll take a look at their plans if you click on this right here. And we've already seen those many times. But this is a couple of new offerings. They have the cloud hosting, which is I'll click on right there. This is a cPanel based cloud hosting. So you have a cPanel just like your shared hosting. But it does say it's two times faster. And in my experience in testing the managed WordPress cloud hosting, it is definitely faster than unoptimized shared hosting. So I think that probably is a true representation of the load speed that you're going to get if you use this cloud hosting. It is a little bit more expensive, but you you're getting more results. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the WordPress managed cloud hosting sales page. And just like it says right here, it's WordPress cloud hosting, but it is managed WordPress cloud hosting, which means, of course, that HostGator will manage it for you. It, when you need your site updated, if your theme needs updating, your plugins need updating that you installed on your site, if uh, WordPress itself needs updating, HostGator does it all for you. Plus, they optimize everything and secure everything. So for people that don't, don't want to have to deal with that, and you might be one of them, it's a, a very good option to check out. You know, they're going to take care of all the back end stuff for you. And like it says right here, supercharged speed. And I have found it to be pretty darn fast. In fact, we're going to take a look at a, a site that I just helped somebody set up with managed WordPress cloud hosting from HostGator. So let's take a look at the site first of all. And here it is right here. This is not a small site, but we'll just click on a few links in the menu and see how fast it loads, just like that. And we'll click on another one just like that. Like I said, this is not a small site. It has some images and everything on it, so it performs pretty darn well. Let's take a look at a website speed test, which I did for that same site at pingdom.com. You can do a free website speed test for your own site if you'd like. But here are the results. We got 1.12 load time and 1.12 seconds load time. And it says your website is faster than 88% of all tested websites. So the managed WordPress cloud hosting is performing pretty well in the real world as these stats and what we saw on the website show us. So let's go back to HostGator. And I want to show you a couple more things to see, show you a behind the scene look at what HostGator's user interface looks like for your shared hosting and then for the managed WordPress cloud hosting. HostGator has recently changed things and you can access everything, your billing, your WordPress uh, cPanel, uh, your domains that you bought from HostGator, all from this little 
customer portal link. So all you do is click on this link in the top right hand corner at hostgator.com. So this is the login screen and all you do of course is enter the email that you signed up with and the password that they sent you when you signed up. They sent you an email. So we'll go ahead and log in and I'll show you the back end of a shared web hosting plan. All right, here is the my account summary portion of your customer portal, which you'll see when you first log in. And right here, there is your profile settings. If you click on this, you can actually change your password, your login password. If you click on email, you can change your primary email address that you use when you log in. So you can change all that. Now up on the top, of course, we have billing. You can click here and then pay your bill. If you bought a domain with HostGator, you can click here and you can access that. Of course, you can contact their support by clicking here. Let's go ahead and click on hosting. First of all, of course, you'll see some special offers. And of course, HostGator is a business and they are a big business and they have lots of stuff they can, they can try to sell you. But we're not going to really check out any of that stuff. This is their new user interface. And now these are what they call the most popular links from the cPanel. For to be honest, you know, cPanel is what I use, and normal cPanel that you're used to seeing, you're not going to use about you know 95% of those links at least. You know, I bet I know most people don't, I know I don't, but right here are the links that most people do use. Click on this email account so you can form a new email address, you can access your web mail if you don't have it forwarded to say your Gmail, your databases, you can add a domain to your account. Reset your cPanel password, file manager, Weebly. Well, we use WordPress to build our website, but some people might use Weebly. You can click here to launch quick install to install WordPress. And you can password protect some directories or folders as they're called. Also by clicking right there. So that is their new user interface and it is much simplified and I think people are really going to like that. Now let's go ahead and have a behind the scenes look at the what the customer portal looks like for the managed WordPress cloud hosting account. And when you first log in it looks pretty much the same as the shared hosting. You have the you know you can change your password, change your primary email, add a hosting package and all that sort of thing, you know, all your billing and stuff like that. But if you click on hosting, this looks different than the shared hosting interface. Now, of course, all you have your domains that you have installed. You have WordPress installed right here. You'll have those listed. Now, if you click on this little gear icon, that is going to open up this other panel of options. And, of course, you don't see as many options for the managed WordPress cloud hosting because, well, they manage it for you. HostGator manages it for you. But if you do click on Manage WordPress, this will take you straight to your WordPress dashboard. It'll log you in and everything. Now your cache settings, most people probably aren't going to touch that. You can form an email account and delete WordPress. Code Guard and Site Lock, I don't think that comes standard. You probably have to pay extra for that. Make an FTP account. So as, it, as you can see, there's not many options for your uh, control panel, your customer portal for your managed WordPress cloud hosting because, as I said, they do most of that stuff for you, and that's probably going to appeal to a lot of people. But you can go straight to your WordPress dashboard and, you know, have the fun there and start building and customizing your site just by clicking on this button. So that'll probably give you a pretty good idea what your what the user interface looks like and how easy it is now at HostGator. And, of course, we already took a look at the performance of the managed WordPress cloud hosting. So that's it for this video. Now, if you do have any questions or comments, leave them below the video in the video description. And if you have an opinion on this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up or even a thumbs down. If you really feel that way, I won't take it personally. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, go ahead and do that because I'm going to be coming out with more videos, of course, as I find the time. And as always, Keep on smiling and keep on keeping on.